Welcome to Barbershop Talk, an RTF production. I'm Mike. And I'm Gator. I want to first and foremost apologize for the brief hiatus that we took. Work issues. Gator was sick. He had the Magic Johnson, you know, the HIV. Um, B- but I'm clean now. I'm clear. I'm ready to donate blood. Just, just like Magic. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like Magic Johnson. <laughs> so, I believe, I, I don't want to say it was, it was differences, but we have had a hiatus due to, I don't want to say creative differences because they weren't really differences, but audio quality, you know, where's our story going to go? How's this show going to evolve along? And I believe the, the consensus is mutual that yes, you're going to hear us lighting a cigarette. You're going to hear us taking a drink of beer. Yes. It's just going to happen. And we're, but it's, and we're fine with that. But it's worthwhile, though. Oh, absolutely. Overall, it's worthwhile. Absolutely. Speaking, hey, speaking of taking a sip of beer, what are you sipping on tonight? Actually, today is a, is a new drink. Normally, I'm a brandy drinker, but my neighbor brought me a, a bottle of Gentleman's Jack. Oh, wow. So, so, so currently, in a, in a semi-small glass, I have straight gem, uh, Gentleman's Jack. I guess I done had three already, but uh, <laughs> and two ice cubes each time I refill it. Got me slurring of the words a little bit. Oh, I like it. I like it. I'm I'm actually drinking some stuff called uh, Sapporo. Okay, okay. It's it's it comes in a, like a kick ass looking can. I can't find it in a twelve pack. I can't find it in a tall boy. It's just like single, like twenty two ounce cans, and it's a Vietnamese beer. That's different. Yes, I know. And I've seen it, man. I've seen this for months now in this for years in the store. And I've just I've never got it. I said, you know what? I'm getting it tonight. See, I'm kind of a fan of like the Jamaican uh what is that called? The Jamaican beer. It's like red stripe, but but it's kinda like it's kinda like eating catfish. You gotta have you just have to have that taste to it. It's a very unique taste. Red stripe? Yeah, stripes. Yeah, red stripe. But it's a it's a unique taste. You know, I'm not big on Bud Light. Sorry, people, I, don't unfollow us if you like Bud Light. I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Budweiser. I think it makes me burp and pee too much. Well, see, where... see, see, I'll deal with Bud Light, but I won't drink regular Budweiser. It's too yeasty. Okay, yeah, it's I it, can, yeah, yeah, like ugh. Yeah, but I am yeah. a big fan of of trying local beers. I love that. I have learned that the area that I am in, a lot of the local beers here are like that oatmeal or fucking milk ale, and it's fucking horrible. Stop it! I don't want to drink. A, <laughs> I don't want to drink a caramel chocolate beer. No, check this out. True story. I know. Off script. We messed around. And, uh, no, no, we I, did. I, I've never messed I, around with you. Okay, no, we haven't. Okay, I saw a video literally just today, and it was one guy playing four different people. He walks in and he was like, Hey, man, you got any beer? And the guy opens the refrigerator and he has one, a Michelob light. And he described the guy as being gay. Got it. And the, and the guy playing, Hey, I got this Michelob. Got it. And the other guy was like, no, I need Bud Light. But the other guy, the nerdy guy that knew all the facts and everything, you know, did you know this type answers, he was like, I like my craft beers. I like the beers of my local area. <laughs> See, and, like, <laughs> and he started naming different flavors. Like, so when, when you just said that, I was like, oh, here we go. Wait, when and you, you know all the facts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when, when I was up in Denver, they had, they had a great variety. There, there's a lot of local beers made up there, and the majority of them were pretty damn good. Here in North Carolina, there's, man, there's fucking breweries everywhere, and like 95% of them are fucking shit beer. Yeah, there is a whole bunch of breweries here. Yes, there is. Yeah. It's such a disappointment. It really Hell, is. They even have beer festivals. I guess you can say 
of people just setting up beer tents where you just go and sample beer, I guess. Which, which is cool, but I don't want to drink fucking milk beer. Yeah. I, I just, you know, that's... What did Randy Jackson say? Uh, that's a no for me, dog. That's a no for me. Yeah. That's kind of like those, those, those uh, what is those? The little Mike's Hard Lemonades and and Smirnoffs. You know, all that is is a malt liquor. It's a beer. You know, just with a flavor to it. Well, see, see now, like those, like I'll take one of those to the head. But that's as far as it goes is one. Because more than that, then it's like, uh, this is too sweet. I just, I can't do this shit. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, man. A lot of stuff has been popping. Um, I say we start with the hottest news story of of the week. And Uh-oh. the news broke today. There's uh, a couple out there. Which uh, one are you talking about first? Oh, I'm talking about that crafty fella. See what I did there? I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. I, I've been I've been waiting to use that line all day. <laughs> Craft. <laughs> I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. So Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots, gets busted with prostitutes. Wow, a, a prostitute ring. So it was like a an organization. Well, I, I, it, it it was quote a, a spa, a, a horror house, a brothel. Okay, and it's, it. and it's not like he ran the prostitution ring. He was just there trying to get domed up. <laughs> you know, he he would, he, 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 would, he went to the massage parlor looking for the happy ending. Yeah, he was he was just trying to get his fuck on. <laughs> wow. And so this the owner. So so this man is this guy is just being crucified across the media right now. Now, I've I've never paid for pussy. It just that doesn't make sense to me. But this man is like shit. 67 years old, something like that. He's worth $6 billion. His wife died like seven or eight years ago. Let this man get his fuck on. But that's, here's, that's my take on this. I'm not mad at this dude. Let him get his fuck on. Let him enjoy some fucking poos. Just, just, just let him get some. He's I, I, six, I, 60 plus years old, so he already had to pay for the little blue pill. Yes. Now, yeah. now he's got to pay for the cootie. First of all, you're the Patriots owner. Why are you paying for Coochie? Because, look, this guy is such high profile and no one out in the public. He just can't have ju- just – he can't go up to random women. It has to be – there has to be some sort of privacy behind it, which is what he was – apparently has been getting. But then, you know, the feds run a sting and throw a fucking camera in there and catch his ass. But – God, please. <laughs> but it, it's – it's not like this dude can can just have a call girl show up to his house. He's too high profile for that. Okay, I can see that. But you can have you can make yourself an arrangement with somebody somewhere. He did have an you're, arrangement. <laughs> you're, you're just getting regular street meat out this bad boy. No, no. He's he's not picking up a chick on the corner. We're talking this is high class host. This is at a parlor. Oh we're talking some, professionals. Some some pretty woman type stuff, huh? <laughs> Some professional <laughs> hookers here. <laughs> I'm not look, everybody's tearing this dude up and down. I mean, I'm not I'm not promoting or saying go go pay for it. I, I just I don't think you have to. I don't think you should have to. Um, but you know what? I'm not mad at, I'm not mad if he does, man. <sighs> I know, I, I know, I, I know. It's 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 a very fine line to walk, but look, this dude's sixty seven years old. His wife is dead. He has billions of dollars. What the fuck are you going to tell him? You know, like yeah. really, like what the fuck are you going to say to this dude? He's he's got enough money. He'll never do jail time. He won't even do an hour of fucking community service. This is going to fucking disappear. He is not concerned. True, that thing ain't going to suck itself. Go get it sucked, little man. Go get it I, sucked. I'm just saying. I mean. <laughs> Look, it's like this, man. When when that ba- when when that Powerball was was reaching a billion dollars. Look, if I were to hit that Powerball, I'm I'm going to go to work the next day. I am, but I'm going to be naked on a fucking ostrich. And you know why? Because I'm so fucking rich. You can't tell me a motherfucking thing. Not on the ostrich, though. No. <laughs> on a motherfucking ostrich. And 
It's just like him. This dude's worth six billion dollars. What the fuck are you really gonna tell this dude? Because he's out getting some pussy. That is true. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Look, I'm in the same boat as you. I've never paid directly for some pussy. You know, here's cash. Give me this. You know, whatever. I've never done that. I pay for pussy in the long run. You know, hey, let's go out to eat. You know, you can get the number three, and I'll even let you get a super size if you let me get that a butthole. But anyway, but. Uh, <laughs> No, no, no. But for real, my only thing, like, I'm not going to chastise anybody for it. Because if, if you can't get it, pay for it. Don't just take it. You know what I'm well, saying? See, see, see I, I think he can get it. But, again, due to the – this guy has, what, five Super Bowl rings? It's not like he can just walk out in fucking public and just start pulling chicks at the bar. He can't do that shit. I feel you. But I'm sure there's somebody that's going to jump on the sword – Literally and regularly. Yes, but 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 then you start getting involved in in these young women trying to get latched on, and it's it, it's it's so I much easier it. and more convenient for him to just go about it this way. Some hit it and quit it. Got it. You know, fucking tip them good. Hundred fifty thousand dollars. I mean, hell, <laughs> uh, <laughs> golly. I'm not mad at this guy. I'm really not, man. The, yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at him, no. Do I understand the concept of paying for cootie? No. Not, okay, not directly, because I know there's going to be people out there that everybody pays for pussy. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? We take him out to dinner, we take him on a date, we spend some time with him, got it. Everybody pays for cootie, I got you. I don't understand that whole concept of paying for it like that. I guess during the Great Recession, back in the days, that was the only thriving thing in the world. Hence how Las Vegas got started. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. I'm not mad at him. Go get it. He was being safe about it. So what? Fuck it. But at 67 years old, be careful with that blue pill, old man. You trying to kill a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to fuck around and kill yourself. Be cautious. Like, But you go, you're going out like a champ. You're going out pumping some wheat. You work in the wood and you just happen to have a heart attack. True, true. But is that the way you want to meet your maker with a heart on? Uh, exactly. You know, you, but you're going out. Exactly. <laughs> but you're going, you're going out in a fun way. Me, my philosophy is I'm going out of this world the same way I came in. Covered in blood, kicking and screaming. Got it. Oh. So I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Man. I, I don't know. But that's 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 the hottest story of the day right now. Yeah, they're running him over the coals. But I I can see the point of view of yeah, he was just getting it'd probably be different if he was mixed up in some international underage bullshit. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, you wanna take it there? Oh god. Do you what want- did I just what did I just step in? <laughs> R. Kelly's in the news. <sighs> yes. Speaking of underage girls. Speaking of underage girls. R. Kelly is fucked. Now this, he's, he's rich. But there's no getting at it. Look. So another video comes out. A 45, um, a 45 minute video. The, another video he, another he asked this chick how old are you she says 15 on video she asked how old this pussy is oops can i say that okay i said it too late it's gone 15 what is, god dog man damn it now what really really bugs me yes the whole fucking underage kids yes but what what really gets me as far as r kelly himself you were given the the OJ treatment once before. You were given your freebie, man. Twice. Don't fly. Don't fuck this up. And yeah, I, it was to the point that his lawyer was like, "Uh, no, I'm gone." Now, like, when you say the OJ treatment, you got away literally with murder. Don't go out committing no more crimes. So when he got away with that first video. He should have just sat his punk ass down, but no. Then he started. I'm not going to say. I'm not going. I'm not playing on that little A and E story 
or whatever channel is Lifetime, whatever channel it was on. But freaking, you were imprisoning girls. Like, you were making them stay in your house, like prisoners in their house. If they wanted to be with you, they had to be like prisoners, no contacting people. That went to court. You got away with that. So you got two OJ treatment. This dude got, oh. Now, all of a sudden, there's a third video that multiple credible people have seen. And, and not, not just the third video, but there's also like 10 other women who have all, all have representation to the point that they're not even hiding their names. This is my name. This is my lawyer. This is what happened with R. Kelly when I was underage. Yeah, man. He, so who gets so who gets the top and bottom bunk? Bill Cosby or him? Bill's old. Which one gets Bill's old? He gets okay. he gets bottom bunk. Okay, I can see that. Kells is just gonna have to understand. God, Lee, man, dude, he he he's he's. We'll see R. Kelly in twenty five years. He's fucking done. Now, to me, all these other women accusing him, I don't think that's going to go anywhere because. These women are like, oh, well, in 1996 at an after party and I was drinking in all marijuana. And, and there's a whole bunch of other people there, blah, 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 there, blah. There, there's a whole lot of, you know, my word against yours. Can you prove that? Which is extremely difficult to do, especially in the 90s. There wasn't a fucking cell phone. There wasn't, there wasn't none of that shit. So, you know, good luck with that. But this video, he's fucked. <coughs> oh, man. That is true. You made a very valid point. How do you, let's use your same scenario. You got the OJ treatment. You got the OJ treatment, and then you fuck up again. You deserve everything you get. Oh. You know, if like like me, I'm just a, I'm 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 the armchair quarterback right now. If all this pans out, that's you in the video. That's her, and it's. Goes back to being when she was underage. You get what you get, big dog. You get what you get. Oh, oh, I do. I, I'm just like, how, how did you not fucking learn your lesson the first time? Yeah. Uh, like this, this, this isn't, this isn't a 12 year old who got busted stealing a pack of smokes and then stole them again. No, 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 no. We're no. talking you look, you got away marrying Aaliyah. Yeah, he got away with that. That came out that the lawyer lied and you got forged forged signatures and stuff. Got it, got it, got it. You got away with the first pissing on you video. You got away with I'm enslaving women in my house. Like did maybe this dude just, you know, fuck it, I'm invincible. Hell in different states, Chicago and what was the other one? Georgia. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so Maybe, maybe this maybe this dude just thought he was invincible. But look, when 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 I was sixteen, me and my brother, we used to we used to break into people's cars all the time, and we would steal everything out of the. It was great. It was the nineties before car alarms. It was fucking awesome. And, yep, got and, it. And we we would just what we would do is that it's not that we were trying to steal like everything in the car. We were really just trying to find like a change bucket just to get a handful of change so we could go in, buy some fucking penny candy and fucking steal cigarettes. That's that. That was our fucking process. So got it. Got it. I'm 16. I break into a pickup truck as I'm digging through this truck. Tap, tap, tap. I turn around. It's a fucking cop with this billy club tapping me on the shoulder. That was the last fuck. That was the last fucking time I stole shit. That's what I needed. Now, my thing is, R. Kelly, what else did you need? You, you sat in court with a video of you <laughs> pissing on a 14-year-old girl. Yeah. Now, that wasn't enough. Now, here's what. Well, like, like, how is that not enough conviction to, you know what? It's time, it's, it's time to ride a straight and narrow because, holy fuck, that was a close call. True. When is that eye opener? When did you hit rock bottom? How did your how did your damn video get out? You sit around and talk to your boys, hey man, look at this right here. That's that's what I'm see, see, and it, it's not just it's not just him. I mean it is as far as the kids, but 
Like, go back to, like, like Mystical. Mystical spent 10 years in prison for raping a chick and they videotaped it. Who the fuck let this video... Who sent... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who are these people putting these fucking videos out? Your people is not trusted. Not, no. not saying you need to conceal shit like that because it's, it's appalling. And I know we're having this as a joking moment, as serious as it is, but R. Kelly, Robert Kelly, or whatever your real name is, that's his real. That's his real name, Robert Kelly. Damn it, man! You cannot. If you're gonna break the law, you can't videotape this stuff. It's kind of oh, like God when you're, no. When you're out doing stuff and somebody yells "World Star" and you're in the middle of a fight, you either got to put it put in your best fight, or you got to walk, <laughs> walk away the fuck away because you're being videotaped. Yep. Ah, come on, dude. Like, uh, yeah, you made the best analogy right there. You got the OJ treatment. Not once, but twice. I, I, I almost I have to baseball. say, I almost have to say three times because of Aaliyah. Okay, yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, because that came out. You should have been got for that. Yeah. Nobody. I mean, everybody <laughs> owned up to that. The lawyer said, "Yep, I forged the signatures." He said, "Yes, she was only fifteen." Blah blah blah. So, three. I played baseball. You play. You you know the rules of baseball. Three strikes, you're out, bro. Well, see, 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 but not just that. When when he was twenty something years old and married a fifteen year old, at that moment, you know what? Every dad in the country, my daughter will never go fucking near you. Everyone should have known right there that okay. that that was the fucking that was the drop in the bucket right there. Everyone should have known. Okay. And then and then. All right, stupid ass people, stupid ass parents, stupid ass kids. Nobody learned a fucking lesson. Now he's por- pissing on fucking teenagers. So how in the fuck is your kid still with him? How? How? Okay. How okay. is there another fucking video? How is there another video? That is very true. But what oh parent? My. What parent in the right mind said, "You know what? It's been ten years." Go ahead, fifteen year old. Go to his par- or go to his concert. You're good. Even, even yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be at the concert, and when I show up and when I leave, mine's going with me. Yeah, I, I'm not taking away from this man's musical artistry. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Some of the radio stations around here have taken him off the radio and will never play any of his songs. Whatever, got it. Oh, his help. One of my kids was probably made off one of his songs, but, <laughs> but, but, but in the same token, I'm not going to do that. That's kind of like me sending my kids rest in peace to Neverland with Michael Jackson. I'm going with you. And then when I leave, you leave. Yeah. And it guess is what it is. And, and you know what? I have a young son, like under the age of 10. He knows Mike and we're going to jam his ass and we're going to dance our ass off. But you would never be allowed at fucking the ranch. I'm not I'm not, by, <laughs> not not by yourself. No, not fuck without, that. Not without me. And it is what it is. And like you said, but some of these girls, I guess like that first one that came out in the first video, she didn't have a dad in her, like a male figure in her life. It was just women. Well, that's that's not a basis or any kind of whatever. See, grown, see. grown women, you already went through this bullshit. So you need to be teaching your young women not to be able to go through that bullshit. Exactly. Teach your daughters to be women. Yeah. So, Sorry. All right. All right. Wow. Oh, fuck. We, we've had two sex stories in a row. You ready to just fucking switch this up? We about to talk about penis? I mean, no, let me stop. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, well, well we, we See, really not, have, I'm getting we, hot right now. Just, just, just we, that kind of pisses me off. This dude, Kelly. God, dog. We, we we really haven't had a dick discussion. I didn't have one planned, but I mean, dick dick seems to be the every episode thing. So just for the hell of it, dick. There we go. There we go. Penis. Yep. Dick. Schlong. Got Talk. it. Tallywhacker. <laughs> Tallywhacker. <laughs> Dude, that's one of my favorite names for it, man. <laughs> like because because there's only so many names that I can say to my to my son. Like he's he's so young. I could just can't be like, hey, whip your cock out, you know? Yeah, you know? got it. You know, now my wife gets upset because yeah. because I made it very clear from the beginning 
oh, those two things hanging, those are your nuts. Yeah. I, yeah. Look, you have two choices here, nuts or testicles. We're calling them nuts. So, nuts. You know, and, and, and she'll get upset because we'll be in the store and she'll be like, ah, oh, dad. And, and it's never quiet. Ah, oh, dad, my nuts itch. <laughs> you know, and, and like she looks at me fucked up, but like, so there's only so many names I can use for a dick. So him being the age that he is, you know, Tallywhacker, like that's one of my favorites. Tallywhacker. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. All right. Well, do you want to move to, uh, to Chapel, Chapel Hill, North Carolina or Chicago, Illinois? Which story do you want? We're going to Chicago, Illinois, before we come back to North Carolina, this wonderful state that I'm in currently. Okay, right off, right off the get, J U S S I E is a stupid fucking name, bruh. Stupid fucking name. It really is. That's been bugging the shit out of me for fucking two weeks now. Jussie, old Jussie, old Jesse, old Jesse fucked up. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. J U S S I E, Jussie. What? what uh, I don't even know where to begin with this guy because holy fuck, dude, dude. There's, there's it. Like it's, it's, it's one consolidated incident, but at the same time, it's so fucking big. And 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 I'm not, and I'm not talking media wise, but just. It, as an, it, as an individual, it is so fucking big. Yeah. So, I mean, we're talking the Nigerians, which was originally white dudes, the crying on the TV, and then and all over, over an hour interview on TV, and then all over a fucking pay raise. A God. fucking a fucking pay. Look, look, man. Tell me if I'm wrong. Please, if the second that I am wrong, tell me to shut the fuck up and I won't speak the rest of the fucking episode and it's yours. Got it. Ready. When I want to pay raise, I'm not going to go out and take an ass whooping and then go to my boss. Hey, look at my face. I need a pay raise now. (laughs) True true story. I've never fucking heard. I've heard some people do some outlandish shit. For a fucking pay raise, like, but it's always like it's at work. It's some let me try this or let me try that or let me do this or let me do that. Never let me go into Chicago at 12 at night, shit fucking drunk, and stage a fucking beating. I mean, holy fuck, dude. <laughs> I don't yes. even. <sighs> You're an actor, and I think this is his very worst performance. One. Wow. As, hold on, hold on a second. I'm gonna stop you there, sir. I don't know if you can hear this. That is a fucking golf clap. <laughs> Got it. Wow, <laughs> his worst. That dude. That was well fucking played. Well put. Go ahead, man. Sorry. Well, that was well. Well, good. here's here's the thing. Nobody's known you before that TV series Empire, right? So you're still an up and coming young adult. I don't know how old he is, but young adult coming up in the world you're a black man and you're gay first you got to pick a struggle bro you either got to be black or you got to be gay you cannot come into this world with two two strikes sorry but anyway but anyway <laughs> i'm <you're>, sorry <laughs> i don't know if i'm allowed to laugh at that but i am i mean i'm fucking laughing at that i mean but it's just more of you're up and coming you're not traji b henson you know, you're not Terrence Howard, the bigger people of Empire that made Empire what it is. Okay, you got okay. it. Um, he's 36. Okay, so maybe you're not so young, but still, but still, that was look, a, that was a kid mistake, or I, yeah, I, I can't even call it a mistake, man. That is a that, yeah, that's a kid rookie move. But you're up and coming star. Nobody knew you before this show Empire. You're blowing up from there. Why do you think you need to get? A pay raise. I don't know what he's getting paid. I don't care what he's getting paid, but it's just more of why. Even you, look, look. Maybe you know what? Maybe you're a good actor. Maybe you deserve the pay raise. But why? 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 Uh, 
why I, I don't even, I don't even with... I don't even know how to ask the question that uh, to, to the lengths of this lie that he was building. You could have just got beat up and said they were calling me gay stuff and left it alone. But this dude arranged for these people <laughs> to beat him up in the alley around the camera so to get videotaped. But when he told the cops, it was two white guys yelling uh, uh, MAGA, make America great again, whatever, and, and other homophobic stuff. Uh, Look, well, you, you happen to pick a place where there's no security cameras, and it was two big-ass Nigerian brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> had you been backwoods Alabama, I would have bought it. I promise you, there's not one white person, whether you support him or not, walking around Chicago with a MAGA hat on. Not in downtown Chicago. Fuck no. That. Fuck no. <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm sorry. But not but, one. Not one. But you know what? Wear the hat. You know what, though? He's the first American to scam two Nigerians. Yeah. See what I did and there? Get it? Yeah. Like the Nigerian princes. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Indulge me a little bit. Fuck. That was good. That was good. Damn. And for only $3,500 at that. And they quickly sold him out of the river because them brothers are not in trouble at all. No, fuck no. They ain't going to jail for his dumb ass. They know better than that shit. Yeah. $3,500? Nah, bruh. Come on. Uh, Th- this is... That is... Uh... My question is why? And I don't want to hear for a pay raise. You know, you made a real elaborate story that has layer upon layer upon layer. To me, to me, what 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 really took it over the top was the TV interview. That's that's where you really fucked up. And had had you been some fucking Joe Schmo that nobody knew. Look, Chicago PD would have looked at the cameras. All right, we don't see anybody this and that. Yeah, we believe you. Go the fuck on your way. But due to the fucking high profile that he was and then going into the interviews and making this even bigger, Chicago PD didn't have a choice. They had to, all right, we have to get to the bottom of this. They didn't have a fucking choice. And right off the get, you didn't want to release your phone records. I can kind of understand that. I can kind of understand that. Well, I can during during that TV interview, he was like, hey, I had personal information <laughs> in my phone with other stuff. Well, they, they, what, they, what they, if he was? What they, if he they, was sending dick pics? Proper, eloquent dick pics. No, 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 no. They just wanted the call log. Not, not. Let me open your phone and see. Let's see who you have called, and then you get your ass beat at fucking four in the morning, and wait until seven o'clock that night to report it. That was suspect as fuck. Right, right okay. there. Yeah, true. He dude, he fucked up, man. He should have been. He if he would have played this right. Look, first off, you always have a burner, especially yeah. especially when you're that fucking rich. You always have yeah. a burner. Number two, the second that ass beating is done, you're laying on the ground calling nine one one at the scene, not back at your house. Ex- exactly, fucking fifteen hours later. I feel you on that. Oh, this dude fucked up, man. All over the place. There's so many holes in in that interview, like you were saying. That interview, he was just... uh, What an attention (laughs) horror. Dude, holy shit, man. All right, I'm I'm just... I I, I really want to talk about this. I really want to go in-depth, and I want to have, like, a serious conversation. But I'm just... I, I don't even know how to fucking discuss it because it's, it's just like, wow, man, like what the fuck? There's so many loopholes. And here's the, here's, here's another question. Here's a question with this. Obviously, apparently he staged all this and made this national debacle. Ooh, debacle. Good choice of words. Which scenario? Because even Jesus, I'm, I mean, don't I'm, say thank you. I'm definitely not. Oh I, I complimented, well, you know, your vocabulary uh, there. Thank you for my big boy word <laughs> compliments. <laughs> I was using my big boy words there, but he made a uproar at first. And trust me, the nation was on his side. Oh my God, a gay black man was just beat 
not trying to go political, and I'm just real quick, some anti-political stuff and homophobic stuff was done to him, and they tied a noose around his neck. Oh, my God, we got to find him. Got it. I, now, I, that we, now that we know that it's fake, which category did he hurt the worst here? Okay, okay, he, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on before you, before you jump uh-oh. in. Okay. To go back to your political thing, just to throw this out there. And you know what? I, fuck me. I'm not going to be able to remember her name. There was a lady, uh, somebody in Congress or a senator, and it was the funniest thing. She Right after it happened, she tweeted out, this is it, – it, it, hear me out on this because this is going to sound like I'm going in one direction and I'm not. She tweeted out, this is like a modern-day lynching. Now, and then when she was asked about it yesterday or, or today – you know, she she wants to. Uh, I don't remember what tweet you're talking about. Uh, this and that, trying to backpedal on this. At the time that she had sent that tweet, first off, I'm not going to say yes. You should have waited for all the facts. I will not say that, because at that point, when something like that happens, look, you, you're going to believe the victim. I don't care who you are in America. Correct. You're, you're going to believe the victim. <clears throat> So you know what? I'm not mad at that lady for saying that shit. Correct. I'm not mad at it at all. And and, and people are trying to trying to fucking tear her a new one, but look, if it was your kid, you would have said the same shit right there on the spot. Whether you whether you had all the facts or not. Because we're human. Who would make up an elaborate story like this? Well, apparently Jussie would. <laughs> Jussie. All right. Continue with your question, because I already know what you're gonna ask. Okay, not only did a black man get a a noose tied around his neck, but it was a gay black man that was getting racial racial slurs slash homophobic slurs slash now political slurs done to you. Now that we know that this is 100% a fraud, fake, and phony, Ah. he was the little person screaming rape and he did not get raped so complete fake who or what category did this man hurt now because a lot of people from political now you have people that are homosexual and you got people of ethnicity speaking on this so the three groups that he then tried to tear up are now getting that get our you know Giving him the business. So which group did he hurt the worst? Did he hurt African Americans? Did he hurt the LGBTQ community? Did he hurt any po- certain political party? I guess Democrat versus Republican. Since we all know Magna is Republican <coughs> and everything else is Democrat. Got Ooh. it. See, see so, that's, that's, that's a very, very... <sighs> okay, look. Coming from the white guy. That's a very difficult question for me to answer. I'm not black and I'm not gay. So for me to sit here and be like, it affects A better or B better or worse or whatever. Honestly, I, I, I can't give you that answer because I'm, I'm neither. And if I had, if, if I had to choose... Oh man! Yeah. You, already, already. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say this. Initially, me and you have discussed this in the past, and initially, I believe my answer was this hurts the gay community more. But now that it's all said and done, everything is out there. His mugshot is out on the internet. I think that this hurts the black community more because that's funny. <laughs> well, go ahead. If you say if well, well, because if, if you go back and you look at everybody that was defending him, I can't name one gay person. I can name a bunch of black people. Yeah. And then, and then when Al Sharpton comes up, look, we're talking Al Sharpton. Like if you fucking, 
did you just say a word that started with a W? You fuck it. You're white. I hate you. Like that's just yeah. like Al Al Sharpton. When he turns his fucking back on you, you fucked up in the black community. You fucked up big yeah. time. And <laughs> especially with with Sharpton turning his back on you, I think I think it's the gate or it's it's the black community that he heard more. And Al Sharpton spoke up quickly, like a day, two days afterwards. At first, Al Sharpton was on your side, and then, like you like you just said, like you just said, at first, when me and you have spoke before, I was like, oh, he hurt the gay community bad about this one, but then turn around. He did an interview. Then the whole Nigerian brothers showed up. Then they flipped on you. Like, bruh, you you heard us. You heard I don't want to say us. You well, heard you're black. You're black. Yeah. You could you're allowed you to say that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you heard us <clears throat> again. Take five steps forward. You just threw us back ten steps back. So Oh dude, like he 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 fucked up bad, man. Like he fucked up bad with layers in it, you know. It's like a meme that I saw earlier. I'm like, dude, million white people in Chicago, and you take you pick two immigrant brothers, (laughs) (laughs) dog, and those boys held weight like they held water like a spaghetti strainer. Oh my! (laughs) And like I, 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 like I said, I think initially that my. My personal opinion was yes, you hurt you hurt the gay community more. But now, after it's all said and done, and seeing all the black people that stood up for him, yeah, and now everybody's turning their back on him. High profile, yes. black people at that. It wasn't. It wasn't like I like. It wasn't like my Facebook post. If I well, I didn't put well, one well, up it, about it, him. It, but still, not even that. We're we're not talking like like a rapper. We're not talking like okay, Ludacris turn his back on you. No, or or fuck. We're talking. And it, it, congressmen just, and women, <laughs> people part of the NAACP, freaking ex- Al Sharpton, you know exactly like those type of people, high profile people turn their back on you. Like you, f- to me, you fucked up more with the black community than anything. And he, uh, yeah, he's not working anymore. Because hell, even the show Empire at <laughs> first was like, hey, he had seven more scenes left. We're gonna drop him down to five. And then all of a sudden, when all of the news came out, <laughs> they said, bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Felicia. Empire comes on Thursday. Today's what? Yeah. We got six more days. I'm finna see. I got a prediction of what they're going to do on the show, you know, because he had that little gay boyfriend from oh, Europe. Sp- from spoiler Europe. alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> alert. <laughs> I have a good feeling. They're not going to kill him. He's not going to die. No. He's just going to leave back to Europe. And that's the end of it. Because he's a big part of the show because he's a, he is a good artist. I'm not going to take away from his artistic being. Hell, being a black male, being a black gay male, and still having the artisticness. Got it. America's going a different direction. Oh, but, yeah, he fucked up, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. He fucked up a lot. And you, he, he got caught with his dick in the fucking fan. There's nothing you can do. You file a false peace report. I'm not looking for no leniency. I'm not saying throw the, the, throw the book at him and throw him under the jail. But in the same token, it is what it is. You file a false police report. You get what you get. But uh, so now, now with, with the charge that he got, it's actually filing a, a false police report of a hate crime. But Still a misdemeanor. So he ain't going to see no jail time. It ain't going to be. It's none of that. It's, it's more. It's your image is, 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 is the one that's taken the fucking fall. Here. Oh, forever tainted. It's forever tainted. It's like if some woman walks into some interview and Harvey Weinstein sitting right there. Yeah, no, I don't want to be in your movie. I mean, yeah. so, so it's just, it is what it is, bruh. But but what I do want again, okay, I'm gonna be the angry black man here. I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the angry racist black filing a false police report. We as a country have to see that same outrage and keep that same energy across the board. I don't care what race the person is. 
let's go back to what was that, the 2017 or 16 Olympics. Ryan Lockheed or Locky or Lock or whatever. Ryan Leach? I think it was Leach. 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 I, Leach. I think it was that's his name. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The guy that supposedly got robbed and beat up at the gas station in Brazil. Liar. He can he completely filed a 100% freaking false police report, but he was on the world stage. You know this man is going to be swimming in 2020 in the Olympics? See, he <laughs> he represented the United States where Jesse here I guess he's just rep. I don't know what he's representing. He's just a celebrity, a famous guy. Okay, it is what it is. I, but we need to keep I, that same I, energy. I see. Maybe uh, I don't want to say I see where you're taking this. Um, but I got one more though. See, see, see. I think. I think. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, the little girl in Michigan two weeks ago that was raped by three black men five years ago while she was in college. She just finally went to court with them. Those three black men went to jail. Or no, they went to jail, but they just came out five years later, all three of them, because she recanted her story. Yes, she was drinking, but she did invite all three of them back for consensual sex. At that time, it was rape. Now it's (laughs) consensual sex. You know what? You know what? <clears throat> false false police report is false police report. This this is this is gonna rewind a story back to the R. Kelly. Um there is two women filing a claim against him who said, you know, we went backstage, went to the after party, we were drunk, we were smoking weed, we couldn't consent. Now 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 now, now this is this is kinda off off topic but just just a question if i'm drinking and you were drinking not you but cuz i don't get down like that but um <laughs> but if i am drinking and she is drinking and we get it on and then she yells rape why am i the one that's always in jail because legally legally you cannot consent <laughs> if you have had an alcoholic beverage so when both of us are drunk, why is it the guy always taking the fucking downfall? That's dude. Mm. That's dookie let, to me. Let me stick my foot in my mouth because it's the female with regrets. I got mine. Sorry you didn't get yours. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but ah, that's that, that's a fair fucking question. That is a fair question. It, it, and and look, both of us being in the military, we've seen this multiple times. Where oh. I was in the barracks and I was drunk and, and, and I couldn't give consent. Well, look, I've lived in the barracks. Yeah. I know how alcohol works in the barracks. Yeah. And everybody is drunk 24 hours a day. Look, man, when, when, when I got back from Iraq back in 03, we would wake up in the morning. We would smash a couple of beers before we went to go do physical fitness. And then. Yeah. And then we would get back from PT and we drink a couple more beers and then the hair, hair of the dog. Yes. And then come lunchtime, we'd go back to the barracks, smash about five. And then by five o'clock we're off work. Now we're getting fucked up. Okay. Now like, like in my room, we had a Corona wall, which was empty Corona boxes. Now over a two month time period, we had, this was just the Corona. It doesn't include anything else we drank. We had 133 empty Corona boxes, oh, wow. <laughs> a massive fucking wall in, <laughs> in our fucking barracks room. Right? It was. Fun. I was just about to say you made a whole barrack, a whole separate room. Dude, in a room. it was spectacular. <laughs> it really was. It was a beautiful fucking sight. But like being there and knowing the alcohol that is consumed, and. How is it the guy always gets blamed when everybody is drunk? That bugs the true, fuck out of me. True story. Somebody got regrets, and it's normally not the guy because he got pussy. It just it, it it just bugs the fuck out of me that the guy always takes the heat for this. Ah, the only thing I can say. Oh man, that that is true. We're both drinking. Even if you did go backstage, you're drinking. He's drinking. You're smoking weed. He may or may not have been. <laughs> It is what it is. And, and, and then these girls want to, oh, well, 
they 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 forced us to drink. Ain't nobody fucking hold you down. Nope. Nobody you took that you took that bottle to your lips by your damn self. Trying to be cool. Shit just went too far. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that for everybody because there are some predators out there. I mean, but, I, I'm I, I'm not defending R. Kelly in this. But, not at, not at all. Not but, at all. He's but got I, he's got videos. <laughs> Fuck him. But but just as a generalization <laughs> like, of the topic, it's kind of shitty. The dudes always take the fucking heat for this, man. When everybody's drinking, but only the female can't give consent. Get the fuck out of here. And is there a statute? What is that called? Statue of limitations. Statue of limitations. Uh, I don't, uh, you know what? That might be a state to state. I, I honestly, I, I cannot give you an answer on that. I don't know because that goes beyond R. Kelly. You know, people, people now running for a public seat or public office. Oh, oh! Back in the seventies, he touched my butt. Well, because of that, I know I will never run for a public office. <laughs> I can't even run for head librarian in my own county. He said I can't even join the PTA. I can't join the PTA. I can't be the president of the PTA. <laughs> I know I didn't touch some girl's butt when I was in eighth grade and probably said something lewd and crude. I don't know what I had for breakfast yesterday, more or less what I did 20, 30 years ago in high school. So uh, there's got to be a statue, a statue of limitations somewhere. On certain things, it is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't well, know. well, look, man. I think I think the the North Carolina topic that we have left, we'll we'll dabble into that in the next episode. That is true. We still got Chapel Hill. All right, I'll write that down. Remind for our next podcast. Yes, and uh, you got any final words? Final words. Look, 2018, I used to say FBMM. Fuck bitches. <laughs> fuck bitches make money, right? You can't say fuck bitches anymore in this episode. Not with R. Kelly I, running around. Not with R. Kelly running around. <laughs> you know? You got the owner of the of the Patriots out there doing him. You know? So I'm no longer going to say FBMM. Fuck bitches make money. I'm going to say to make your life happier, you, you only have to deal with three things in your life in these three categories. And if they're not in these three categories, you don't need to mess with them. If it does not make you money, if it does not make you happy and does not make you make come, you, come. Oh, you yeah. do not need to be messing with it. There you go. Keep the peace. All right. Now, I'm, I'm going to bring this up at the beginning of our next episode. And I meant to do it this one, but I completely forgot. But I will say this as my final words. RTF Productions is not just us. As glorious as that sounds, it's not just us. There's multiple, multiple shows. You need to check out Unpopular Opinion. That's what you need to check out. There's a dude, Billy Jr. We'll call him BJ. <laughs> BJ. Just, just because it's funny to me. So check out BJ on Unpopular Opinion. It is by far the best sporting podcast that you will come across. He is knowledgeable beyond belief. He will hit you stat for fucking stat. Don't rely on him for baseball, but any <laughs> other sport, he's fucking got you. So check out Unpopular Opinion. This is an RTF production. Catch y'all next time. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.